Now that we've got our title on our poster, I've also added a couple of text boxes, and if you're not sure how to add the text boxes, you can review video number two, and that will give you that information again. My text boxes are on the screen, although at this point you can't really see them. I've made two text boxes, and I'm setting this poster up as a template for my students who are doing research. So I've set up a text box that says biographical information, and when I'm inside the text box, you can see the outline of it, but when I am setting up as a template, I'd actually like the border of my text box to appear. To do that, what you're going to do is click inside the text box that you've created, and when you do that, you're going to get drawing tools appearing over here at the top. So when you go over here below it to shape outline, by default it will say no outline, but you can choose the color of your outline and then when you do that you'll actually get a border around it and I'm going to do the same thing down on my other text box by clicking inside it so I get the drawing tools and then I'm going to choose my shape outline and pick my color okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding some pictures from the internet probably not going to find a picture of Harriet Tubman in clip art so this means we have to rely on online pictures but what a nice feature about Publisher is instead of just copying and pasting and putting the photo directly in, there's something under the insert menu called a picture holder, which will actually create sort of a picture frame for your photo. So if you click on that, you're going to get a number of different frames to choose from. You have ovals, you have rectangles, some odd looking shapes and borders. I'm just going to stick with this oval over here and you're going to see, your, see it appears very small on my screen and since this is a poster again I want it to stand out a little bit so if I put my cursor on the corner of the frame that I just entered I'm going to get a larger one and if we want to move it down a little bit you put your cursor in the center until it turns into those four arrows and then you can drag and you can adjust as needed to get it to the size that you want now that we have our picture frame, I'm going to jump over to the internet where I've already done a Google Images search for Harriet Tubman. I'm going to click on a picture that I'd like to use. So the picture appears and I'm going to right click on it and copy it. And then I'm going to go back over to my publisher document. If you right click in this little picture icon that it gives you in the center of your picture frame, you can right click and paste and it will put it right in the center of your picture frame that you placed on your screen. If you want to make an adjustment to this and you don't really like the shape of it, you can again click on it and make changes by coming up here and choosing a different style. I personally like the oval for this one so I'm going to leave it as that. So this is another nice way to kind of fancy up your poster using images from the internet but actually framing them with the picture frame tool in Publisher.